Well, it's, it's difficult uh, to get the complexities of this, uh, predicting these objects uh, to the public because when we first discover them, their orbits are so uncertain that we really can't say where in its orbit it's going to be at a particular time very accurately. But as we get additional observations, the uncertainty region gets smaller and smaller, and our ability to track it into the future gets better and better. 2012 DA-14 is a 40-meter sized object, you know, about half the size of a football field in diameter. It's thought to be, like most asteroids, uh, a so-called ordinary chondrite. S-type, so-called S-type, for silicates. It's uh, going to pass within 4.4 uh, Earth radii of the Earth's surface, and so that's extremely close. It's going to go from south to north very rapidly, uh, but it'll only be observed by folks who in Eastern Europe, uh, Asia, and Australia, so it's not going to be an easy object to see, even for those folks, and it, it'll be in the daylight sky for U.S. observers. So it's, uh, it's an object that's extremely interesting because it actually passes within many of the satellites that are in orbit around the Earth. So we're, we're making available to the satellite providers a file of positions of the asteroid as it goes from south to north and makes its close approach on the 15th, and they can take their predictions of where their satellite will be and then do comparisons. How close will my satellite get to this asteroid? And so far, there, there's no problem. When we discover one of these potentially hazardous asteroids, it's always optically, we're using optical detectors. And then if they get close, uh, during the discovery apparition or shortly thereafter, we get the radars on them. There's two radars, one in Arecibo, Puerto Rico, and another in the Mojave Desert in Southern California. The radars will be uh, aimed at this object, uh, it, not, in, not at the very closest approach because it's not on the right side of the Earth, but uh, they will be observing it a couple of hours later and getting uh, observations not only of, of its position, uh, its range, and, and the so-called Doppler effect, which measures its radial velocity along the line of sight, uh, but it'll actually be doing um, uh, four meter resolution uh, shape modeling. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to understand this object uh, down to the four meter level. And so if we can get the radars on them, right after we discover them, and then we can nail the orbit for another 100 or 200 years and just run them out and see if there's a problem. If not, put it aside and go on to the next one. Space.com.